Whoever said hybrid cars have to look like science experiments apparently doesn't work at Hyundai. This is the gasoline electric Sonata, their first such vehicle, and its sharp looks are as attractive as its fuel economy. Leave it to Hyundai to blaze its own trail into the hybrid segment with a unique electric architecture they themselves developed. Their direct hybrid blue drive system splits the battery divide by using lithium polymer cells, goes with a traditional six-speed automatic transmission, and hard couples it to the electric motor. This provides Hyundai with greater flexibility to integrate this system into other vehicles without the costly re-engineering of transmissions. A clutch can also completely decouple the engine and motor, providing mileage characteristics of a gas-only car in that it achieves its greatest efficiencies at highway speeds. The Sonata Hybrid, which technically gets downgraded from a large car to a midsize because of its smaller trunk, is rated at 35 MPG City and 40 Highway. Its highway number is the best in the class, but its 37 MPG combined rating places it 2 MPG behind the Ford Fusion Hybrid, though 4 MPG better than the Toyota Camry Hybrid. And in case you're keeping score, the Sonata Hybrid bests its gas-only counterpart by a combined 9 MPG. So those are the hard numbers used to calculate annual fuel savings, which the EPA says will be $652 per year if you opt for the hybrid over the regular Sonata. But that only tells part of the story. For as great as the Sonata Hybrid looks, and it's no doubt the most attractive full hybrid ever designed, it's every bit as aggravating to drive. The blue drive system looks smart on paper, but poses some issues in the real world. The use of the six-speed automatic seems to be at the crux of the driving malaise as the Sonata Hybrid feels slow, unresponsive, and usually confused as to which gear it should be in. It can be driven on pure electric up to 62 miles per hour, and the teamwork between the electric motor and the engine is actually very good. But it's as if this car either doesn't want to go when you press down on the gas pedal or is extremely hesitant about doing so. And any bit of power commanded from the 2.4 liter engine running on the Atkinson cycle and the 30 kilowatt motor is met with angst. Perhaps the CVT has specific merit in a hybrid that Hyundai undervalued. Brake feel, always an area of consternation with hybrids, is mediocre. And the electric steering, a Hyundai weak spot at times, is no better here. I found the best drivability was obtained when Blue Drive was turned off, something Hyundai only recommends for climbing hills. It can be deactivated at the wheel, of course at your mileage's expense. And the low rolling resistant coom hose squeal at the very thought of turning quickly. Onboard hybrid electronics showing you what is happening and how green you are are the best I've seen yet. What makes it so disappointing is that the Sonata Hybrid lures you in with this striking design comprising a unique front fascia, upmarket details, and beautiful sculpting. The things that stand it apart from the regular Sonata make it all the better. My car tacks on the $5,000 hybrid premium package, which includes a boatload of interior upgrades as well as 17-inch wheels and a panoramic sunroof. The package is stuffed with content and worth the money if it's in the budget. Base price is $26,545 with an as-tested price of $31,680. Hyundai is a smart company on the come which has hit a string of home runs lately. But the Sonata Hybrid drives like a swing and a miss. For Drive Time on Yahoo Autos, I'm Steve Hammes.